Good morning and welcome to A Closer Look. I'm your host, Linda Fontaine, and today my guest is Barry Bricky. Okay. He is the Public Education Officer for the Kingsport Fire Department. Thank you for coming back. You were here just a month ago. Yeah, it's great to be back. I appreciate it. We're going to be hanging out a lot, it seems like. There's always a lot to talk about, though, with the fire department and safety, because safety is first. It is, and, you know, we have so many different things throughout the year that we uh, want to share with the public of uh, how to be safe. Mm -hmm. And it, uh, especially around the holidays uh, in the fall and the winter time, it really starts pushing uh, to get, you know, make sure that when we have those times and we're celebrating different seasons that they're good and safe, and that's what we want. Good. And fall mm -hmm. means leaves. It Dry does. leaves everywhere. Yeah, there's leaves everywhere. There's uh, pumpkins. There's uh, corn fodder. There's all kinds of things. And so, mm -hmm. you know, there's lots of uh, decorations going up. Uh, but one of the big things is uh, the middle of October mm -hmm. started the burn season here in Tennessee. Okay. And, you know, that usually means that it's things are starting to dry out and people are looking to start getting their leaves up around their home. Uh, they're talking about pulling uh, limbs and things away from the house, cleaning out gutters, you know, kind of cleaning up before winter starts. And people are starting with their fireplaces and all mm -hmm. too, and fire pits. Oh yeah, and so, you know, the big thing we want to let people know about is that when we do have the burn season going on, now inside the city, you don't need a permit. Okay. But it's, it's good to call us. But outside of the city and the county and most other places around the state, if you were to do any open burning, if you're going to burn leaves or grass, or I hate when people burn grass because it just smolders, it doesn't really burn. Mm -hmm. But if they're going to burn leaves and some limbs that they've collected in the yard, uh, they need to make sure, of course, that it's about 50 feet or so away from the structure, any structure. Okay. Uh, need to make sure that they're not going to be doing it on a windy day. Mm -hmm. um, make sure that, you know, that the humidity is at a good, level not too dry and if it's been too dry for too long they may not be able to get a permit and if they do need a permit if they're out in the county or somewhere like that they actually need to get one from the forestry service and uh, we get a lot of calls in the fire hmm. marshal's office because people will start there and then we'll say well where do you live and if you live in the county in sullivan county or any of the other counties you need to call your local forestry service. Okay, so if they need to call the forestry service, they can just call 423-239-5811. Mm -hmm. And the Kingsport Fire Marshal's office, right here on the screen, 423-229-9440. Mm -hmm. uh, what's this? Versa BurnSafeTN.org. Burn safety. Yeah, BurnSafeTN.org is a website from the state of Tennessee, and that comes uh, not only through with the fire marshal's office, but also the Tennessee Department of Environment and Conservation. And there are some very specific things that you can and cannot burn inside the state of Tennessee. Okay. And the really important thing is that if you were to burn something that is not permitted, mm -hmm. you can get up to a twenty-five thousand dollar fine what? in the state. Yes. And you know, we have, we get calls all the time. People say, well, I've been, I've been uh, remodeling my house and I've got some debris. I've mm -hmm. got some wood and some things like that that I need to get rid of and we want to burn them. And it's like, you can't, you can't do that. And so, you know, you need to, of course, check and make sure that there are things that you can burn. Now, in the state of Tennessee, what you can burn on your property mm -hmm. is things that are naturally grown on your property. Okay. So leaves, limbs, twigs, um, brush, things like that. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, we do get those calls and say, well, can I burn? I have some, I have some garbage I want to burn. Mm. You can't do that. Mm. Okay. Um, no plastics of any kind. No aerosol cans or any. You, oh. would, you would think people wouldn't burn cans and bottles and things, but they, they try. Don't mm. know why. Uh, newspapers, any type of paper, tires, uh, rubber of any Ooh. kind, you can't burn those. Uh, one of the big things that we get a lot is when people are re-roofing their homes. And they'll say, oh, well, really? I've got all of these shingles that I need to get rid of. What do, can I burn them? No, you can't. Uh, take them to the landfill. Mm -hmm. They'll take care of them there for you. But we do get a lot of calls about that. Any, any plywood, you can't burn it. Any treated lumber, like you would use for a deck or something hmm. like that. And then anything that has been coated or painted any just regular wood that's been coated or painted, you can't burn that either. So that goes to the landfills. Yeah, that needs to go to the landfill. Um, and if you're inside the city, you can actually put a lot of these things out at the curb if you're doing it yourself. 
And so you can call our city services and check and make sure if they can pick it up or not. But you can't burn any of those things in the state of Tennessee because you could get a $25,000 fine. And uh, there have been people in our area who have been fined because they were illegally burning. Wow. And so uh, also if you're out in the areas that need a permit mm -hmm. and you're burning without a permit, you can get a $50 fine plus there's uh, you can actually get up to 30 days in jail. So, you know, we want to wow. make sure that uh, everybody knows what the law is. Mm -hmm. And first of all, if you're going to be burning stuff, you know, I I'm, I'm all for campfires. Mm -hmm. I love campfires. You know, I love cooking over an open fire yeah, outside. Yeah, s'mores, fun. Yeah. And that, that's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. uh, but when you start throwing all that other stuff in there, you're, uh, you're releasing chemicals, you're doing all these things that aren't good for you or, and it's not, especially not good for the environment or anybody around. So, you know, we want to make sure that people are taking care of that debris in the correct way. Well, I'm impressed, first of all, that people are calling you and asking you. <laughs> yeah, and that, you know, <laughs> yeah. And a lot of times, I, you know, I've had people call me and say, hey, this person is, you know, doing this mm -hmm. and uh, I'll relay it to the fire marshal and we'll maybe go out and visit them and say, hey, you know, I don't know about you, but I can't afford a $25,000 fine. So I would suggest you put this out. Right And, <laughs> you know, there, and there's other things too, um, like pesticides, uh, things like that, any oil or grease. Uh, if they're on, if, and these are uh, pertaining to like farming, making sure that if you use something to wrap a bale, uh, you've seen the big round bales that maybe have some wrap around it. You can't burn any of that. Oh. Uh, anything, any, you know, this is a big one. This sounds crazy, but people burn wire. To, to get the copper from oh it, to gosh. recycle copper. Oh, so the, the, the rubber or plastic Yeah, the coating. plastic covering oh. on that. And uh, we've, we've had a few of those reported and there are people will say, well, I didn't know you could do that. And I said, well, you know, you probably won't get $25,000 worth of copper out of that. No. <laughs> I mean, if you do have something like that, you can take that and just recycle it. Well, a lot of this just seems so. to be common sense and it's too bad that you have to tell people about you have to burn so far away from a structure. Mm -hmm. Don't burn on a windy day. Mm -hmm. and <laughs> you know, some of it seems common sense, but I guess sometimes people just aren't thinking. Oh yeah, and you know, people, they may, they may be cleaning brush up, and you know how it is when you start cleaning out brush. Mm -hmm. You may have a huge pile. Mm -hmm. Well, your pile shouldn't be very big because you might not be able to control it. Mm -hmm. You know, we suggest if you're gonna burn brush, not to have any more than, you know, a couple of feet high, maybe just a few feet across, and that way you can control it. You always have to be there with it while it's burning and you always need a source to put it out with. Okay. And so that's really important. Do you have to have it in something to burn it, like a metal garbage can or a fire pit or just have it in a big pile? How does well, that Well, if, if you do have, if you do have a pit, that's mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, we suggest that if you do have an area uh, that you can burn something out there, clear it out, mm -hmm. make sure it's down to maybe the, the dirt. Mm -hmm. And that way you're not going to get into the grass or get into other leaves or something like that. That way it could spread. You should we have want, a cut out area. Yeah, we should have, you should have an area that we, you know, we would call that a fire break, mm -hmm. an area around it where the fire can't go out from it. Mm -hmm. And then <clears throat> a lot of times if you have a, like a big pile of things, uh, especially if you have pine or something like that, those burn at really, really high temperatures. And if you have leaves and other things in there, what's going to happen? Those leaves are going to catch fire, then they're going to float up and away. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, you got to watch. You got to make sure that it's, it's small mm -hmm. and you can take care of it. So, fall fire safety right here on the screen. Clear, mm -hmm. screen, and seal. Mm -hmm. And that's talking about around your house. Mm -hmm. You're going to pull the things out around your house, you know, because the leaves will pile up, the wind blows, they start to fall. Clear around your house. And this is to help keep your home from burning, mm -hmm. <laughs> especially if maybe a neighbor down the street is, you know, burning some brush and it's, mm -hmm. a leaf comes over. If you've got leaves near your house, pull those out. Uh, screen and seal, look around your home, make sure none of those embers can get in mm -hmm. to a little crevice, you know, in your siding or around your windows or something like that where it could sit in there and smolder. And then uh, make sure you trim the trees away from your home. Um, you know, if we get to the point where we're starting to get a little more snow, if those limbs are overhanging on your house and they get snow on them, that limb may come off, it may damage your home. Uh, make sure you close up all of those areas that, uh, you know, things might could blow in and accumulate. If you've got, you know, if you've got an outdoor uh, shed or if you've got a garage, you know, keep those doors shut. That mm -hmm. way the debris, some leaves and things will go in there and, mm -hmm. you know, it could clog things up and it could, you know, could be a fire hazard. Mm -hmm. Also. Um, Make sure your uh, things that are outside are stored away properly. And then also rake, make sure you get all that debris up out of the yard, the, the leaves, the limbs and things, and remove those. 
And, mm -hmm. you know, especially in the fall, you can put those leaves out at the curb and those limbs out at the curb and they'll bring the big vac truck and the, the pickup yeah. truck, the picker, and they'll pull that stuff up and it'll actually go and um, be, be composted. And so that's, that's really neat that the city can do that. Yes, but unfortunately not in the county. Yeah, unfortunately not in the county. But, you know, there are some things. Uh, I have a compost bin myself. Okay. And so yeah. I like to throw that stuff in there, the leaves and uh, grass and stuff, and makes great soil for later for oh, when you yeah. want to garden. So. Oh, I used to have one of those as well. They yeah. are great. Mm -hmm. And so that's, you know, that's, a, that's a good thing to do with your debris instead of burning it. Mm -hmm. Very good. Because I know this time of year, People like to have those fire pits going. They do, they do. And, you know, we, we just want to keep them safe. Uh, and then, you know, we've got, got other stuff coming up, you know, like Halloween. We've got Halloween coming up later, and we want to really make sure that those kids are safe too when they're out. Okay, well, that's a good place for us to stop right now. Let's take a break, and we'll come back in just a couple of minutes and talk about Halloween safety. Okay, sounds good. See you in a minute. 